thinking about how teachers find plagiarism or how they can reduce it even more? Find out here and subscribe to the channel to watch other helpful videos. Teachers deserve a lot of credit and respect. It's time consuming, hectic, and a very effort heavy profession. They play a big role in the academic development of students. So more should be done to help them. Right now, let's focus on how the work of identifying and reducing plagiarism can be improved. We can do that from these five simple ways. First, modify assignments or create new ones. This doesn't need anything fancy. Just a little tweak would do, like slightly changing essay prompts, using a separate case study, or requiring students to address specific perspectives in essays. That way, finding old essays to copy in-class plagiarism becomes particularly difficult. Second, break down assignments. If you use smaller chunks that add up to the final mark, reducing plagiarism becomes easier. For example, an essay could be split into an essay outline, references with notes, presentation, and then the final submission. This way, different aspects can be evaluated like understanding of the topic, researchability, and presentation skills. Otherwise, there could be cases of last-minute copy-pasting or purchasing essays. Third, look out for the writing style. You'll know of this as the more common way used by teachers to pick up plagiarism. Sudden or unusual change of syntax, formatting, or writing voice are big red flags. If so, someone was either copy-pasting material or getting another person to write it for them. Fourth, use electronic submissions and record keeping. If you use electronic submissions, there is a lot more transparency and tracking ability. Knowing when, where, and how the document was submitted helps checking it for plagiarism. Fifth, use plagiarism checking software. One of the most efficient tools for teachers to reduce plagiarism in their classes is through using plagiarism checking software. It'll be a life and time saver since it cuts out manual effort of typing text into a search engine to see if it was copied or comparing it with other papers. You can scan material for online plagiarism against billions of web pages or check it against other papers in class through a bulk comparison. We hope that these tips make day-to-day -day operations of education professionals a little easier. All right, next time we'll cover another useful topic. And we also have plenty of other helpful videos for you to watch. Stay tuned for more by clicking the like and subscribe button. And remember to click the bell icon to stay updated with new videos. See you later!